In this video, we're going to look at how to cite sources properly using MLA style. We'll cover where you need to cite, what information you need, and how to format your citations. First, where do you need to put citations? Citations come in two parts. The first part is in your paper, at the end of every sentence that uses ideas from a source. This lets readers know which source you used, and is called an in-text citation. Then the second part is at the end of your paper, where you give a list called Works Cited, which has all the sources you cited in text in your paper. For each source, you need to give the information that you would need if you wanted to locate a copy of it. The two parts work together. The in-text citations refer to the full information about the source listed in the list of references at the end. You need to have both parts to cite correctly and avoid plagiarism. Next, we'll look at what information you need to create a citation. MLA requires specific pieces of information about each of your sources. These include the author, the title, the title of the item that the source is located in, the publisher in place of publication, date, and information needed to locate a copy of the source. These pieces of information look a bit different for different types of sources. For a scholarly journal article, you'll need the author of the article and the title of the article. You'll also need the title of the journal the article is published in, the volume, the issue, and the date. You'll need the location of the article, or the pages. The same information is required for articles whether they're found in print or online. Don't list the database you found the article in, like ProQuest. For a book, you'll need the authors, the book title, the publisher, and the publication year. Some books have chapters written by different people. If that's the case, you'll need to cite the individual chapter rather than the book. You'll need information on the chapter's author and title, the title of the book that the chapter is published in, the editors of the book, the publisher, year, and the chapter pages. Websites don't always have as much information available. Sometimes, for example, you might not find an author or a date. You'll need to provide all the information you can find, though, including the author, the title of the page, the title of the website or the organization the site's published by, the date, and the page URL. Just because you find a source online, it doesn't mean you should cite it as a website. If you're using an online article or a book, you'll need to cite it as an article or a book, not as a website. Next, we'll look at how you format your citations. In MLA style, you need to put information in brackets at the end of every sentence in your paper where you refer to a source. What you include in the brackets depends on how you refer to the source. If you mention an idea from a source, either in quotes or in your own words, include the author's last name, a space, then the page number. If you mention the author's name in your sentence, you'll only need to include the page number. Then at the end of your paper, you give a list called Works Cited, which has all the sources with in-text citations in your paper. The list should be in alphabetical order by author last name. MLA Style has rules on how to arrange and format all of this information into a citation. As we've seen, each type of source uses somewhat different information in the citation and is formatted somewhat differently. You need to follow the correct formatting for your type of source. Here's how to cite a scholarly article. First list the author, last name first, followed by their first name spelled out in full. Next put the title of the article in quotation marks, giving each word a capital letter and ending with a period. After the article title, put the title of the journal that the article was published in. It should be in italics, with every word capitalized, and end with a comma. Next list the journal volume, then the issue of the journal, both followed by a comma. After that, list the year the article was published, with a comma. Then list the pages of the article, followed by a period. This is what a journal article citation in MLA style should look like in your Works Cited list. As you can see, Small details like punctuation and italics make a difference, so pay attention to them. You'll need to refer to a guide to MLA style that lists all the citation rules you need to follow for different types of sources, like books. You'll find links on this page. If you have any questions, ask us at library.wlu.ca help ask us.